All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to replace uh, clutch springs when you blow out your clutch springs on a GP460 um, go pin motor. Um, basically, what you're going to need to do it is a Torx T27 um, wrench, um, a fairly good sized hammer, a 12 millimeter socket for pulling the nut out of your clutch to pull the clutch out, um, and a pair of safety glasses, and uh, about a 2x4, about a foot long. Um, I'll put our safety glasses on and I'll start with pulling the three Torx bolts out. Crack them all loose first. And once you get your little, little bracket off on there, um, you're going to use a 2x4 right here. And you're going to um, angle the clutch at an angle like this, just uh, you know, to get some leverage on it. And pound the clutch, other two clutch springs in there loose. Just, um, your hammer and then your 12mm socket. Just set that in there like that. And keep your fingers up a little bit so it doesn't pinch you when it comes off. Once so you've got your clutch shoes loose, you're going to take your other two old springs out, or you can reuse them, just depending. i got three new ones here I'm going to be installing. Alright, once you got your three new springs in there, you're going to take your other bracket here for part of your clutch. <clears throat> Get everything you know, lined up there for the most part, as you can see. You got everything you know, pretty much lined up like that. And then you know, this is where you're going to need a second person to come in. Um, Dad, this is um, what we're going to do is a, the 2x4, same piece of wood I was using before. You're going to lay it on there, you know, center it up good. You're going to use a you know, piece of wood you're going to be hitting it on you don't want to hit it on the asphalt and you know, mess up your clutch shoes or something like that. But lay that on there, you know, so I'll get that centered up good right there. And this one good swift fit with the hammer, and I'll pop them on there. And get that for you. There you go. Alright, it took me two hits. But it usually just takes one good hit. Um, you know, once you got you know, your pop that in there and take uh, the bracket part of the clutch and go ahead and put those the screws back in and I'll get them all started I'll you know, put one on there tighter than the other one first to get them all started once you got them all in there started good Go ahead and tighten them up. Don't need to get them all super tight, but you know, get them good. And once you got that all done, you're ready to you know slide that back on your motor. Put the put your nut back in there and you know, get it nice and tight. And that's how you replace clutch springs.